Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today we work on uh, GTA, joining a car and removing the player from the car again. So here is a small preview. We have a character. I used the uh, uh, template from me uh, from the last video. You can use the third person template if you like. And then uh, we can go to the car, press E and we're in the car and can drive the car. Now if we drive a bit we can uh, get out and we spawn here. Uh, and yeah, that's it for this part. So let us start. So go ahead, open up your Epic Launcher and open up a third person project or the last project we did with the MB characters. Once your project is loaded, open up a flat map and then let's add new future content pack and here we can add to our existing project uh, some uh, blueprint featured uh, things like the vehicle I will use for this project this one so it's a bit easier so let's add this so now we have here a vehicle blueprint and the vehicle meshes so go into the vehicle blueprint and or let's get into the vehicle where is it here under Sedan <coughs> we have here our car. So let's move this car a bit here to the left, then open up the car and we will use a trigger box to or a box collision to actually get into the car. So let's add a component which will be a box collision. And this one will be here on the right side. Whoops. Back tire, so we can join here into the left front driver's seat. <laughs> Next up, <coughs> go into your box and scroll down and search for the begin overlap event. And from this, we want the other actor to cast to our um, character. So if you have the third person template, you need to cast to a third person character. Here uh, the character is called main character. So we cast to him and we promote this to a variable character reference. And now we need to make a custom event. So go into our character blueprint. So we open this up and the event graph and here we make a custom event. This custom event will save the car so we um, can rename this to car save or something. Here from this we will get an input. This input will be our sedan reference. So we get here our sedan reference and we promote this to a variable called this car to join. So join this car. Compile and save. Get back to the sedan and grab this event now. So, what was the name? Car save. So, here we car save, and the actor will be self. So, let's rename this parameter name here to self or actor. Yeah, that's this part. Um, then we need to have a variable to check whether or not we can join the car. So let's get can join. Oh no, my mistake. This one will be here in the main character. Can join car? Question mark. And we set this to false. And if we are in the car, we get from the character ref the can we join not can we join it's called can join car so let's set can join car to true now so once we are in this box we can join the car and from this we go back into the main character and I will use the E key to join a car so let's search for the E. 
there it is. Then we check can join car, and if it's, this is true, we can join. So <clears throat> the next step here is now to get the player controller and to unpossess him. So we can now possess another character. So we unpossess the player and we possess the card to join. So we will then play the character. Let's get here from this one the possess this and then we can get the pawn in. Next up we can save here now our variables. We all want to save. If you have a health system or a weapon system or something else you can save here all the variables and then load them. And after we saved we can destroy ourselves. So we destroy this actor and now we are playing with the car. So this is not completed. Next up we have to go to the car and if we press here E key we want to get off the, out of the car and spawn as the normal person again. So we press E, we spawn the actor from a class and this will come from our character reference and this will be also his class. The transform we will make later, so make transform here and from this one we want to oh we grab from our get player controller so get this one first we want then to unpossess ourselves and to possess the new spawned character so we can then in the main character get a variable event possess and we could say we can load this now. So every time we're possessing we're loading the game. And then we could say let's get from the construction construction script this is all here and we check then again for the correct mesh. Like this. Find save and here this is done. And let's make the last point. So uh, you can, this is the position where of the car he gets out, so I will just use the normal box, get the world location of it, and he will spawn inside the box. And let's make always spawn, ignore collision. And here you can see all the code that is done before in the car, so here you have a handbrake, where there is the space bar, and <coughs> Yeah, toggle camera, which is, let's see, project settings, let's get the inputs, um, switch camera is tap, yeah. So now if we compile everything up and play, whoops, this is the wrong map, so let's just create another map, so we delete this one, um, grab the main map, Save this one and let's scale this up to 200 by 200 by 200. And let's delete here the female and the male. So now we have this normal world here. <coughs> Grab the sedan blueprint into this. Where is it? There. See, so here is our car. We start playing now. We are a female. We go here at the front, press E, and we're in the car. We can drive now. And if we hit the tabulator, we are in this perspective. And we can also move around. And we can also eject from the car by pressing E again. So there we go. That's it for this time. So that's it for the logic part. Uh, we will not continue here with this tutorial because I have no proper animation to uh, actually go into the car. But if you have one or you find something, you uh, probably would uh, do it like this. You join this uh, trigger, press E here, and then you play the animation of a door, how it goes uh, open. And then you would uh, play the character in animation, how he sits to this place. 
then you will uh, destroy the main character and you will at this point spawn a new skeletal mesh which uh, will then part of this card and you can just uh, make him that he can sit here so yeah it's basically very easy if you have the animations if I find some proper animations we will of course do this and add this to this tutorial series so that's all basically uh, if you have any comments or tips or questions just leave a comment below the video and yeah thank you for watching bye